Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cheyenne and my wife and I are on a journey to pay off debt while also saving for our future goals at the same time. So today is Thursday and it's time to do my budget with me. I get paid tomorrow. So it's time to figure out what we're going to be doing with my paycheck. No need for a long introduction. Let's just go ahead and get started. I am going to be using my iPad today. My printer is acting up and I can't print out any of my budget sheets. I have the Budget Moms workbook that I've been using lately. And I did order for her Black Friday sale, I did order a new workbook, but it doesn't start until January. So I'm gonna save it and use it from January to December. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we'll get started. Okay, so this is going to be from November, what are the dates? November 17th through November 23rd. And then next week on the 24th, Ty and I both will get paid. So this paycheck or this pay period is just going to be my income. And my paycheck was $1,650. And we have a rollover, I believe of $100. Uh, we did have some things pop up this week, like my tire. I ended up needing, Ty ended up popping one of my tires going around a curb, and we ended up having to pay to get my car fixed. I had to buy two new tires, plus pay for the labor for them to put on the new tires and everything. So that $100 is questionable. I have to look at our account, but I'm going to budget for the $100 as of right now. So total income was $1,750. And now we'll write out our bills. So as usual, daycare is the first one. Let's do on the 17th and it is 220. We pay 220 a week. Then we have a firm, which is my loan to get my, uh, it's for my cell phone. Then we have credit one. And that is on the 19th. And that balance or that total is $77. Then we have our car insurance, which is due on the 19th as well, which just went up again. I need to call them and talk to them and see what's going on. But I was in an accident last January and they've been fighting with the other person's insurance. The cops said he was at fault. The witnesses said he was at fault. I said he was at fault and his insurance company was refusing to pay. And my insurance kind of just gave up and then said it was my fault. So our insurance went up a good bit. Then we have State Farm, which is my life insurance policy. That's due on the 22nd and it is $83. Then we have Disney Plus, which I feel like keeps going up. I cannot keep track of what it is. Last month it was $14, but I did get an email that it is going up again. Didn't look at when it was going up, but I know it is. Then we have Amazon Prime. That's the 23rd. And I still, they still have me on the student plan. I graduated like a year ago, maybe even two. And they still have not changed it and I'm not complaining. So those are our bills for the week. Um, if you remember from last video, I did pay Ty's um, car payment early. So that was also due, but it's already paid. We have 719.03 is our total, which leaves us with a remainder of $1,030.97. So I'll go ahead and write that left over here. Then I'm just gonna write in our variable expenses really quick. Okay, so for groceries this week, we're gonna do a little higher because of Thanksgiving, obviously. We did not save for Thanksgiving this year. Um, I haven't decided if I regret that decision yet, but I'm just gonna do 300 and hope that that will be enough. Gas, I'm gonna do 175, which the breakdown of that is going to be 50 for me. 125 for Ty. Ty does drive an hour one way to work. And she does that six days a week. So she typically always needs more gas than I do. 
health, I'm going to do 25. Don't see us needing anything this week, but just want to have some money in case we do. Household, I'm going to do 30 just because um, we may need, like, I don't know if we're going to need, like, paper plates and things. We typically just eat on regular, like, glass plates. But just in case we need that or paper towels or whatever, because we are having Thanksgiving at our house. Then we have 50 for personal for Ty and I. Kian gets 25 because he had a haircut this week. Starbucks gets 15. Restaurants, I'm going to do 50. We typically eat out about once a month. And um, Kian has been asking to go to Red Robin. So I think we'll take him after his haircut on Saturday. And then miscellaneous is getting 12. I feel like it may be 13, but I wrote 12. So we're just going to stick with 12. I alternate between 12 and 13 every week, but I think it may be 13, but I already did the math for 12. So the total variable expenses is 732, which leaves us with 298.97. So then I'm going to go over here to sinking funds and I'm not going to write out which ones I am allocating the money to. I'm just going to put that we're going to put let me see 298 so I'll do 278 towards sinking funds and then sorry that leaves us with $20 and then if you go down to extra savings, this is just where I put our buffer slash cushion. And that's going to be the $20. So that gives us our zero based budget that we love to see. So bills aren't too heavy, but I helped myself out by paying Ty's car payment early. Because if you remember last week, we had like a thousand dollars left over once our bills and variable expenses were covered. And I knew that wasn't going to be the case this week because it was just my paycheck. So I did go ahead and pay Ty's early. So these bills need covered. And then I will be stuffing our envelopes and 278 into sinking funds. And I probably will have another video coming out. I have been buying slowly and just haven't been saying anything. I've been buying different budgeting things for 2024 just to make 2024 the best year I possibly can. I'm going to start doing saving challenges and things. So I have been buying that. So I may have a video coming soon of all of the things that I've bought over the months. Um, I think I started in like honestly August or September. So Stay on the lookout for that. Um, I have been buying from people's Etsy shops and a couple of things from Amazon and things. And I did buy from the budget mom because I am in need of, I was in need of a new planner and a new budget book because I, what I do right now is I print out her, I print out these sheets because I do have the uh, PDF version. I print them out and then I size them down to happy planner size and I put them in my happy planner. But I'm spending a lot of money on ink, whereas I could just buy the book for, I think I got it for $40 maybe because of her Black Friday sale. I could buy that one time and then have the year covered instead of having to buy so much ink. So that's what I did. But that's it for today's video. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow with my cash stuffing. So I'll be stuffing 278 in cash in my sinking funds. And then I stuff groceries, my gas health, household, key and Starbucks, restaurants, and miscellaneous. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I'm sorry, I forgot to ask how you guys are doing. Um, I'm rushing because I have so much laundry to do. And today and tomorrow are my only like free days, even though I work tonight. But during the day, I have some free time. So I need to get to laundry, but I also need to edit and do all the other things. But anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow in my cash stuffing. Feel free to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, message me on there if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.